So spirals? Well, they're absolutely everywhere in nature, from galaxies to sunflowers, wave formations and wind types. But really, surprisingly, there are only really four types, and they're the Fibonacci spiral, the logarithmic spiral, the Gaussian golden ratio spiral, and the Archimedes spiral. Now, mathematicians will hate this, but from an engineering build it and see what it does point of view, you could say that the Fibonacci golden ratio and logarithmic were in fact pretty much the same thing, which would break them down into two basic groups. Now, if you want to know more about spiral formation, the mathematics behind it, there's a chap called Ziroth who's done a brilliant video on it, and I'll put a link to the end of this video and a link in the description to Ziroth's video if you want to jump over there and get a better understanding of how spirals are actually drawn and framed, and a little bit about the history of the mathematics behind it. But I'm of a more practical bent, of course, and what I want to explore is how spirals have been used in wind turbines. Now, the simplest wind turbine has got to be the Savonius. It's basically two cups that catch the wind and there's a difference in dragons, so they spin. And the first thing that was looked at was that, and it came up in this paper. So what the team did was take a Fibonacci spiral and use that as the inspiration for the Zephonius type blade. And they tested it in lots of configurations, so overlapping gaps, uh, matching gaps, two, three, four blades, and they found that the best configuration was with two blades and no gap in between them. And they ran a series of tests and came up with the result that it had an improved power coefficient of 14.1%. Of course, this spread like wildfire and you found people doing turbines, Savonius type turbines, in that configuration all over the place. Of course, that sort of stuff always inspires people. And in 2018, this paper came out. What this team did was to construct a conical spiral, and they did that by taking the Fibonacci spiral, laying it on a flat piece of paper, cutting it out and rolling that round to make part of the cone. They repeated that three times and put those blades together at 120 degrees to come up with their conical spiral wind turbine, which they then promptly tested, of course. And the results were truly astounding. They got 73.1% with an idea that they should be able to get up to 80% of the power extracted, the available power extracted from the wind. And that's well, it's phenomenal when you think about it. Equally, that went around like wildfire and is the inspiration for the Liam F1 wind turbine, which everybody's talking about at the moment, and for replication efforts, including one by myself. It'll be, so it should be, set on a pole like that. That's 0.9 metres a second and it's actually starting to turn. One point six meters per second. Now we did some generation testing back here at the lab and got some pretty good results. But if you want full build details, they're in video nineteen ninety eight, and I'll put a link to that at the end of this video. I three D printed mine, of course, because I've got three D printers. But if you follow that research paper, then you could use the same procedure of laying out a flat sheet and rolling that sheet up into the cone if you wanted to make one. If you don't have a three D printer. One of the things that's quite astounding about this spiral turbine is it's one of the first ones to make it out of the research lab into actual product, which is what the Liam F1 is. Because so often these things just stay in the papers. When they actually get out there, that's a bit more inspiring. Now, both the papers I've quoted in this video are open access. It means they're not behind a paywall. Anybody can go and read them. And if you go to Google Scholar and put in spiral wind turbine, you'll find that there's a ton of corroborating research now to show that these spirals actually are worth pursuing. Now, sometimes 
You'll find them called an Archimedes spiral. I mean, they're not, okay, they're a Fibonacci spiral usually. I guess it's some kind of nod to the Archimedes screw, but they are still a spiral turbine and there is an awful lot of it out there for people to have a look at and judge for themselves whether they're any good or not. From where I sit, they certainly seem to be an impressive improvement on what it has we've been doing. And the Liam F1 has suddenly become of great interest to me as well. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.